All right, so I think we should do our April check-in on the Venus flytraps. And I think you're going to be kind of amazed at how much growth they've had just in the last week. The flytraps are growing a ton of flower stalks. Look at flower stalks are plenty all across here, but they're also growing tons of new traps as well. This is Persephone, the famous plant that barely goes dormant. And look at all of these new traps. You just see a ton of growth, though, across all of these plants. These are going to be huge very quickly. It's crazy how much they die back in winter, but you can see they're already starting to all grow like crazy. Here's Witchy Baby, another very famous plant. Look how big these spring traps are. These are huge. These are going to be gigantic come summer. You can see just across the board, everybody has traps growing in. Everybody has flowers. Now remember, if you want bigger traps, if you want more traps, pinch your flowers back and do it early. Like when they're this tall, you want to pinch them back. Now, if you want to make seeds, you want two different cultivars for the best genetic variability. If you want to see your plant flower, that's totally fine. Just make sure it gets a lot of sun, access to bugs, and that it's a fairly large plant. Smaller plants, it can really slow them down if they bloom. But otherwise, just do what makes you feel right for you. Look at all this. And again, my warning as always is remember there's a lot of nuance in this. I'm in zone nine. We have pretty easy weather on these plants. They're going to start to break dormancy really early for me, but in your zone, it might be too cold still. So don't freak out if your plants haven't broken dormancy yet. It could just be a little too cold for them still. Just wait and be patient.